end. The stink coming from an Albuquerque house was overwhelming. The source was even worse. Good evening. A half dozen dogs left without a drop of water or an ounce of food in the summer heat. And police say the man who left his dogs to die in agony nearly did the same to his elderly mother. Here's News 13's Ian Schwartz. Ian? It was the stench of death that led police from one gruesome scene to another. Neighbors knew something was up at this house on Edith near downtown. A putrid smell was overwhelming and unmistakable. It smelled like rotting meat. Noelle Majorana wondered if it was her neighbor's dog. We hadn't heard them in a couple days. Majorana called police. They showed up and found four dead, decomposing dogs under this car in the backyard. The home and dogs belonged to Doug Knoll, who was jailed yesterday for animal cruelty charges. Investigators say the dogs had no food or water outside for at least a week, with temperatures soaring close to 100 degrees. Before dying, the dogs had been digging in the dirt under the car, likely trying to cool down. You don't leave your dogs outside in the hot sun like that, to, you know, without water, food, or anything. Neighbors say Noel was also his mom's caretaker, so police headed to her Northeast Heights home, fearing the conditions she was living in. When they got there, they found Noel and his 93-year-old mother. Police say she was unconscious and naked in a 90-degree room filled with her feces. She was rushed to Loveless Hospital, where doctors say she was two breaths away from death. The bizarre tale doesn't stop there. Police found a dead, decomposing dog in the trunk of Noel's car. In all all, he's facing five felony extreme animal cruelty charges. I'm sure he won't be in jail forever, but he shouldn't, definitely shouldn't be allowed to have animals. And that is a possibility if convicted, a prosecutor can ban people like Noel from ever owning a dog again. Back to you. Okay, Ian, police say they are also looking into possible neglect charges against Noel for the conditions police found his mother living in. A judge has released the 14th.